What is up, y'all? Welcome to something new on the channel. This is a clip from my Twitch stream. It's one of the most epic games ever. And I, I promise I'm not overhyping it, okay? I've been playing OTP since a single digit version. I don't know the exact version, but I've been playing a long time. I certainly don't remember every great game I've played. I know that. So if there was a perfect log, maybe there's a, a better or equal game. But in my recent memory, this is definitely the best game that I've seen both from Sims that I've been running or even things that I've watched on YouTube and Twitch. It's an amazing game in our World Series. I want to give a little bit of backstory. It's a 12-team fictional league, the Sandlot Baseball League, and a lot of the players in the league are me and my viewers. Uh, they were able to create characters. We spun a wheel to see what their rating is. They gave an idea of what kind of uh, archetype they wanted, and then we fit it in that way. You know, uh, obviously, I took a pretty good player for myself. I didn't take an 80, though. He's developed, but I didn't take a full-on 80. Uh, I did make my dog. Both my dogs are amazing players. I gave my girlfriend a character. She's amazing. She actually lost to our dog in the playoffs here in Game 7, so... That's pretty tough. I think she's sold because she loves our dog. But anyway, so that's the backstory there. You'll hear me referencing a bunch of the characters that are for uh, people in the stream. This is in our World Series. It's a nine-game World Series. This is Game 7, but it's not that sort of standard Game 7. So don't, don't get caught up thinking like, oh, whoever wins this wins the series. One of the teams needs to win it to keep things going. The other team is in a closeout scenario. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I did have like one edit toward the end, and I hate that this was at the end. So I'm in the midst of this, and I have my game windowed, and behind it is my browser. And I noticed that like a couple of my moves for, for the free agent bids that night weren't locked in there. Even though I'd done everything before stream, I guess I didn't hit enter on those, or it was a different tab. I don't know. So I noticed that toward the end of this game and I do a few quick things before the the eventual uh final play of this game I cut that out so you see like a little skip that's what that was and I felt really bad that I wasn't uh you know engaged there but I had literally two minutes to get those moves in, and I didn't want to have injured guys so I was doing the push pull of like plus I was streaming I didn't expect to upload this to YouTube so I'm sitting there like well if there's a little lull, that's okay I'll get back into it but then somebody said this game was so epic you should put it on YouTube for all to enjoy and I promise you, the length, it's not fluff. Stick with it. It, it, it's, it. It's a long video for a reason. The game is worth it. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Twitch.tv slash Spore. If you want to be part of the Sandlot Baseball League, we're going to continue to add people in. Uh, folks who are part of the stream that aren't subscribers to the Twitch channel, that's okay. We're going to have avenues for y'all to get in as well uh, using the channel points. So if you watch the stream for a little bit, you get enough channel points, we'll get you a player that way. And if you sub to the channel, you'll get a player. So if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link that there. You get a free subscription. All you need to do is sub once you get your player. You don't have to keep, I'm not going to go, you know, kick people out who aren't subbed the following month. This is a one time in. So anyway, enjoy game of the year. All right, we're off to Chicago. Vist versus Hamal. Ooh, Brandon Drury would be the kind of guy the cards would get. This guy's name is Sun Whore. That's pretty great. Find this guy tanning outdoors three times a week. He's a real Sun Whore. Drury for Jordan Walker? I don't know about that. That might be a little much for a um, upcoming free agent. All right, I'm always in trouble in the first. Runner on second, one out. I don't know why it's set so much further away on this one. That's even further. 
That's insane. Great view. All right, we're going to watch from the third base dugout. <laughs> no, stay in the third base dugout. What the shit? That's horse shit. Don't change my view. Watch it from the third base dugout, and you guys are going to like it. Now strap in. Pay attention. Look alive. We're all crammed in this dugout right now. All 109 of us with the players. Behave yourselves. You're representing me right now. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Oh, you can't make the play. Way to go, dummy. Hit? Nope. Fly out. It's hard to follow the action from here. I'm gonna <laughs> not gonna lie. Those are some pretty good seeds. Actually don't hate this view, unironically. Unironically, don't hate this view. Unironically, dude. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I just say that I'm any, everything. Everything I do is unironic. I'm unironically switching all of these, dude. I didn't even ironically switch any of those. That's a shot. Holy crap. That's off the wall. That's Paco, baby. That's a triple for Paco. Let's go. I think that's Midas' player. Do I have that right? I'm, I'm, I'm getting y'all, all y'all's players committed to memory here. I'm getting there. This league's been fun as hell. Anybody, any other subs in the chat right now that don't have a character in this league that want one, let me know. If you're a non-sub, I got, I got avenues for you coming. No, no, not. Oh, unironically. Oh, shit, Henry. Th that statement was unironic. Shit. I didn't say it. You're right. That's kind of on me. I didn't mention it. I unironically clicked that button. Okay, he unironically morphed to make that catch. <laughs> Cage, you didn't tell us that Chick Robertson could fucking morph, dude. You gotta tell us his superpowers. That's not fair. Alright, runners at the corners. One away. Oh, Erico got a hit? That's weird. He's so cr terrible. He's not gonna get a steal? Dude! Okay, now, actually, I had the comp earlier when I actually referenced somebody, and I don't know why I didn't just stick with that. No, you're hurt, Rolo. You're hurt. I said Randy Rosarena, and that, that's what I should have just stuck with because with the speed and the defense, he has been. So th that's pretty much that's the easier comp for this uh, playoff explosion. I know Rosarena had more homers, but like it's that same level of excellence. And then his regular seasons even kind of match what a Rosarena can do. So Eric goes our Rosarena. Even though we're distancing ourselves from the MLBs, we're still going to make MLB comps. Yeah, it's not mutant, mutant league baseball. What the hell? We said no mutants. So they don't get anything out of that. They're going to get Hatfield on one uh, to second base with one out. Yeah, we do discriminate against mutants. Get Chick out of here. You didn't tell. You didn't check the mutant box. It's because you didn't tell us. You tried to hide it. Not sure Chick even wants to participate anymore then. If you're going <laughs> to... If you're going to treat us like that, we will take our ball and we will leave. I like that. That's a good flip. That's a good flip, Cage. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. We, we still want Robertson in the league. Wait, 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 wait. Ain't going to go anywhere. 
We're just disappointed he didn't tell us. Another destruction of a rehab stint. Yeah, you're in the World Series, but you're you're hurt. And you're out until after the World Series. This league is compliant with the Mutant Registration Act. I mean, come on. Raul, thank you. I love my I love my new hat. Been wearing it all week. Oh, they got two runs, San Jose did. Now, Chicago trying to bounce back. They got Imes at the dish. Stud with Castro and Elric on base. That's Zetter's player. Castro is not one of our players. What can Imes do? One, two. Ground ball. That might be two, and it is. Imes a bitch. Like, that makes it sound like I just called myself a bitch in a weird, grammatically wrong way. Fuck. Chick Robertson now. Can he get him on the board? No, he's going to ground a short as well. Mutant my ass. Mutant would have gotten a hit there. One, two. Got him. Meant to hit that button. Oh, they got Neater on third now. Two outs. Sun whore's up. And he strikes out. Like, like a sun whore would. Chicago got one off a of homer. Them all back out. Nothing in the fifth. Vist back out. And there and he's in trouble. Dude, Alric's been on base like every damn inning this game, it seems like. He's two for two with a walk, see? I wasn't just dreaming it. Look at that. Alright, here we go. This is uh Castro with a chance to do some damage. Nobody out. Two two count coming to him. That's gonna be a shot into right. Base is loaded now. And here comes the Imes again. Let's go pitch by pitch for this one. Held up on the 92 mile an hour fastball. And gets in there safely. So sack fly ties it up. Robertson up now. Our own Chick Robertson. We'll go pitch by pitch with him as well. He opens ball one. Spitting on that splitter. Fouls that one off. 1-1. One, one. Vist delivers. Ground ball is second. Can't get the can't get the throw off for the double play, so it's a fielder's choice. Chick Robertson. Not looking like a mutant. Damn it, Bila. <laughs> I'm the <a> bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Ends at the dish. Stud with Castro and Elric on base. That's Zetter's player. Castro is. What can Imes do? One, two. Ground ball. That might be two, and it is. Imes a bitch. Like that makes it sound like I just called myself a bitch in a weird, <laughs> dramatically wrong way. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you gave you gave the context. Thank you. You could have made a second one. that's just I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. On repeat. Ooh. I'd have to look I'd have to do some research on that, so I'll have to rely on chat to help you out there, but that sounds like a lot of fun. Two two. Struck him out. Wow. So they only get one there. That's actually pretty huge for uh San Jose to get out of that. Hamal with another clean inning. Vist in the sixth. Clean inning. Hamal's back out for the seventh. He's got runners at the corners with two outs. And it'll be Cashman. Our very own Mo Cashman. That's Soda cosplayer. Oh, diving catch. What a play. 
What a play. The fans of the fireplace now rise for the seventh inning stretch. Two two game here at the fireplace. San Jose is up four two. This is game seven of a nine game set. Veith coming back out for the seventh. He and Hamal have having, are having an old school duel. Hamal has 117 pitches. We're a little bit of a throwback league here. And I'm kind of here for it. Wait, what happened? Oh, they got out clean. So Chicago got nothing. All right, Olvera is going to be pitching to San Jose in the top of the eighth. Paco's on second with one out. It'll be Erico. Playoff stud of the highest order right now. He's on his Randy Rosarena arc. What can he do here in Game 7 of the World Series? That's going to be a shot. Caught! Oh, he's robbed! Chick Robertson. What a stud out there. That's two diving catches. That's His range isn't even the showcase. I mean, that's probably why he has to dive. The arm is the real treat. We gotta see. We gotta see uh, Cage throw somebody out. Nine games is not a lot. They play 162. Shut up. I'm making it a 15 game World Series just to spite you. We print that paper. Hit by pitch there. It'll be Arciniega. Full count to him with two outs. A little tapper. Pitcher's going to field it and make the play. So it's 2 2, bot eight here in Chicago. One one to Chick Robertson. Ground ball to second. He's out. Some mutant, eh? Ground ball for Hayes. He's out. Hatfield. 1-0 pitch. Synth, what's going on? Oh, that's a great idea. That'll fix everything. Swag. Oh, yeah. I'm connecting with the city of San Diego with this hat. That's for damn sure. All right. Top nine. San Jose trying to win the World Series here, by the way. Oh, that's a shot. That is off the wall. Rodolfo Nieder is going to have a leadoff triple in the top of the ninth. Where was Robertson's arm there? Some mutant, am I right? Sun Whore is up. What up, Mad Mask? How you doing? That's going to be enough for, for the sack fly. San Jose will take a 3-2 lead in the top of the ninth. Glennon up now. 1-2 pitch coming to him. Struck him out. Rolo's cheering from the bench. He's out with injury right now. I don't even know if I can show the whole team. I don't think I can. But I did see it before the series started. I do know you're hurt. 0-2 pitch. Got him. So they only get the one run after the leadoff triple. That's not too bad. You kind of figure that's going to score. It'll be Duro, Waterbury, McGill, the bottom of the order for Chicago. They're fighting for their life. Yo, Clayton, thank you for the foul and the tier one. I appreciate that. So, absolute. Um, one of my mods, KB Law, um, he can give you the information on how to relay your information to him. And then you'll be on a sheet, and I will make y'all's players... Today, Synth, Mad Mask, that goes for you guys too. And Clayton, welcome. Series is at 4 2. Y'all trying to shut this out. That's going to be a tapper to third. One away. San Jose trying to win that World Series. Second year in a row making it. They lost last year to Brooklyn. 
Oh, rain's beginning to fall. Oh, wow, that'd be a crazy time for a delay. No, 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 Takai. New characters for the people that, the subs that don't have their characters yet. Uh-oh. That's gone! A bottom of the ninth home run to tie it at three. Ted Waterbury, Chicago, says, uh-uh. We're not going anywhere. Yo, Clayton, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've been having such a great time with Marlins. I really, really appreciate that. Ted Waterbury is their eighth hitter, y'all. He is not a big-time player. In fact, he came over as kind of a, a trade piece, it looks like, that was supposed to do something. He was having a really nice year, and he flopped. That's the, that's the small samples, you know? So he came over for the trade and was a total flop. Went from a 120 WRC plus to a 59. Now he's better than a 59, but not that much. He's a 79 career, so he's been up and down, but he just hit the home run of his life. He's a defense speed type of guy who can hit a little bit and occasionally hits the biggest home run in the bottom of the ninth. It'll be Wrangle now. Pinch hitter coming in. They're trying to get this game and head back uh, to San Jose. Oh, wait, no. It'll be game eight next. So we'd still be in Chicago. A big homer for the Ars and set the fans ablaze in the night. The damn right. Chip, Chick gave him a little nice tip on the closer's towel before the AB. That's some legendary shit right there, man. That's, that's leadership right there. All right, so the Iceman, Wrangle's coming in. He's a nice little hitter. Solid, you know, for a bench hitter. That's not too bad. Does better against lefties, but it's what they got. Who is he replacing right now? Um, I clicked the wrong team. He, oh, McGill, their catcher, who they do not want hitting with their wife on the line. Yeah, makes sense. Riven, what's going on? All right, so what can Wrangle do here with one out? 1-1. One, one. Oh, he gets hit. He's freaking blasted. Alric now. This is Zetter's character with a chance to be a hero. 1-0. Oh. Ground ball. Going to go to second. Back to one. Double play. And we're going to extras in game seven of the World Series. Now, this is a potentially deciding game, but not the way you think. Nine game series. So... It's San Jose who has a chance to win it. But Chicago's fighting for their lives. Pete Jones, JG's character. Rain's been coming down pretty heavy. The delay lasted 10 minutes. All right. So they threatened, there was some rain threatening in the ninth. It did come to fruition here in the 10th, but we got through it with just a 10 minute delay. We're back on. JG's facing a full count here. Pete Jones. It's going to rip one down into right field for a base hit. Lead off knock. We bring up McKinney now. 0 0 pitch. He's swinging. Ground ball to third. Over to second. Back to one. Double play. And just like that, any potential rally snuffed out for San Jose. I'll leave it up to Erico. Can't say enough about how great he's been here. And he strikes out looking, though. So much for being good, right? What a loser. His 35 un arm unusable at third base is pretty tough. It's pretty tough. I would say yes, I think. Yeah. 35 anything, I'm not really trying to rely on. If it's a skill like that, like, you know, the range, the arm, tangible skills like that, 35 is really bad. I can have somebody on the team that has a 35 in their hitting profile, especially if other stuff makes up for it. Imes is up now. 2-2 two -two pitch. First guy struck out, by the way. And then he strikes out. Vaccarini? Vaccarini? Diego Vaccarini? Vaccarini? He throws 99 to 101. He's insane. 32% strikeout rate. 7% walk rate. He's a monster closer. This is a big-time dog right here. Chick Robertson, though, with an opportunity. Takes. Ball one for a strike. Oh, he got a call. Oh, he got a call. Chick keeps his cool, though. Chick keeps his cool. Steady Eddie shows up, does the job. He keeps his cool. 
Second pitch. That's a ball. In a better spot than the last one, but called a ball. You can hear the chirping from the Chicago bench. Oh, fouls that one off. He was on that one. It's three straight fastballs. He's challenging. He's not bringing his, his 99 to 101. He did on the first pitch, though. He's back dialed down to 95, 96. What's he got here on the 1-2 pitch? Takes that for a ball. Very high ball, two. That one's at 99. Another fastball. 2-2 two -two pitch. Here it comes. Check ground ball to second for the out. So we go to the 11th. San Jose will get an opportunity here with Leighton Arciniega Ars and Nieder, the bottom of their order, against Brian Thomas. Pretty solid reliever. I don't know if he's their closer, but he's pretty good. 264 ERA, 121 whip, 27% K rate, 6% walk rate. Both of those are really nice. And he faces Leighton, Chris Leighton, their catcher, I believe. Oh, we don't have to do pitch by pitch for those at bats. 2-2. Two, two. Strike. Three. Struck him out there. Arseniega. 0-2. Oh, He's going to ground that one to third. Makes the play. Nice play there by Imes. Two away. It'll be Nieder now. Hit a big triple in the ninth that gave them the lead before the uh, before the home run by... Who, who was that again? Who was this? Uh, um, Waterbury. Waterbury. What a name. Okay, it'll be Hayes, Hatfield, Duro. None of these are our guys. So we, we won't pitch by pitch any of them. Ground ball to third. One away. Hatfield now. He's in a cold streak. He's hitting 109 with a homer and a steal. I think that's um, that's for the entire playoffs. Because Erico's fire line is, is all of the playoffs. So that's really rough. That's pretty awful. 3-1. Oh, he takes a walk. Let's go. So they got the winning run on base here. It'll be up to Duro. 1-1 one, one pitch. He pops that one up. Catcher calling off his pitcher there. Makes play. What's this guy's stamina? Oh, 65. Oh, so he can go for days. This guy's a beast. It'll be Waterbury, the hero. Can he be the hero again? Can he be a superhero? Runner's going. Safe. So now Hatfield in scoring position. Oh, he, he's not that, that speedy, but he's a really smart base runner. 80 steal, 75 base running, but 40 speed. So he makes the most of it. He gets his jumps. He knows his angles. 1-1. One, one. Waterbury, ground ball to short, back over to first for the third out. So we continue. We're hitting the 12th inning now. It'll be Sun Hoare, Glennon, and then Mo Cashman. A successful stolen base in Sam Sandlot League? That's unheard of. We've seen a couple already. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Base hit in the left there. One on, one out. It'll be Mo Cashman, Soda player. With a chance. Oh, he's swinging first pitch. He's ripping that one in the center. Well struck, but Waterbury had it all the way. Pete Jones, that's JG just player. First pitch coming. He's going to swing first pitch and lace it in the left field for a base hit. So they're jumping on Thomas right now. And it's two on, two out. It'll be McKinney. McKinney is 0 for the playoffs, but how many at-bats is that? six so it's fine i don't know why i think they're they're cold streaking and that's kind of it's kind of rough yeah maybe we should because the catchers are like insane two of them wearing 33 two of them wearing 34 anybody pick a pitcher they could really uh break in we are light on pitchers i mean if you're a hitter i'll make you a hitter but you might be uh barking up trees that are already occupied especially depends on what your role too if you're a good enough player
Two pitchers, okay. 1-0, one 1-1. -oh. One -one. Two one. Fouls that off two two. Rip down the right field line. That's gonna score one for sure, maybe two. That's a two run triple. Holy shit. So Joe McKinney who was in a over six in the playoffs. He's not really playing. But they saddled him with the old cold streak. Anyway, maybe he ended the regular season cold. He's not much of a hitter either. So we're seeing a lot of unlikely heroes step up. He rips a triple. Was he tagged out? Wait, he was... It kind of looked like it. He didn't slide. Trailing runner out at third. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No, no, these are people that don't have one yet. Yeah, they gave Thomas one batter too many. Now, Baccherini's coming out for yet another inning, his fifth, but again, he's a 65 stamina. He's basically a starter relieving, and they just, his stamina has held. Interesting. He's going for his fifth inning of work here. The basically putting in a starters starters workload here. All right, he's got uh, Todd Robinson and then Alric and Castro. Two run lead for San Jose. Robinson knocks the base hit into right, so their leadoff runners on. Leon's Ulrich coming up. Strike one. Look at that 94 mile an hour fastball. He's swinging the second pitch. That's gone. Oh my God. Two run homer by Ulrich. Ties it up at five. This game will not be decided just yet. Holy shit. He, he destroyed that. I was like, whoa. This angle sometimes is hard to read. At the behind the plate angle, sometimes it's hard to read too, to be honest. This game has been crazy. This game's been crazy. Did they leave Vacherini in too long? I mean, he's been amazing. He has legit pitcher stamina, although he he's not dominating as much. All right, so now it'll be Castro with Imes and Chick Robertson looming on deck. And nobody out. So they're going to bat. And it could be trouble. Let's see what Castro can do here. He's swinging first pitch. They got Vacherini on the ropes. That one's going to be caught. But they're trying to attack right now. It'll be on. We'll pitch by pitch for him because he's he's one of the league's best. We'll, we'll give him some respect. He's swinging on that one. He tried to end the game there, folks. Oh, no. That was his full at bat. He struck out. I forgot to change it. I took it off pitch by pitch. I went the wrong way there. My bad. So I didn't respect him. <laughs> nice be off Perfect. All right. Chick Robertson's up. Chance to be the hero. Did he go? They, they said it doesn't matter. Fast uh, strike anyway. 0-1. Oh, Takes that one. 1-1. One, one. That was 97. Kind of spiked that fastball there. Bad release. Rocks and fires. Fastball very low again. Ball two. So he had to he had to kind of loft in the strike there at 91, and then when he dials it back up to 97 and 94, he's all over the place. Is he tiring? He is on full blood red down here, like his meter's all the way down. So they might be leaving him in too long here. Two one pitch, swings through that one strike two. He's just staying with the fastball. The slider and the changeup are not why he's here, and he's not even. He's not trying to lose on those. 2-2 two -two pitch now. Fouls that one back. You know those fouls straight back. They're on it. That was 97. So he's working in a wide band right now. 91 to 97. All fastballs. Six pitch with the at-bat coming. 2-2 two -two pitch. 
Robertson lifts that one in the right. Looks playable and is. And that'll end the inning. But not before a two-run shot keeps us going. San Jose scored in the top. Chicago got it back in the bottom. And it's 5-5 going to the 13th. Brian Thomas will come back out. He has a 45 stamina, which is still quite good for a reliever. He's in the yellow orangish here, though. And Erico's coming up. We know how great he's been in this playoff. What can he do here? 2-2 two -two pitch. Strikes out. 1-1 one -one to Layton. And a little Fliner there to uh, second baseman for the second out. Arseniega. He gets hit. Man, we've seen a lot of hit by pitches. Swiss Helm. Jordan Swiss Helm coming in. Swiss Helm threw 30 innings with Chicago on the year. Quite good. 150 ERA, 107 whip. 26% K rate, 8% walk rate. Disastrous personality. Just a total dipshit. But hey, he's getting the job done. What can Swiss Helm do here against Nieder? 3-0. Walks the first guy he faces. Good job, Swiss Helm. That's why they think you're stupid. Sunhor coming in. 1-1 one, one pitch. That one might be flared. But it will be caught for the third out. Wasn't sure if they were going to dunk that one in there. All right. Haddad coming in now. He has 20 movement. This game has to end on a home run right now, right? This guy's home run rates are obscene. I can't, I can't show these. I can't show these on the screen. This is vile. Kids can't see this. No, you can't see that. That's disgusting. That, that should not be a home run rate. That is illegal. That is illegal. All right. Well, he has 95 stuff, though, so can his stuff save him? He faces Hayes, Hatfield, and Duro. 2-2 Two -two pitch. That's going to be ripped into right base hit. He's got 20 movement or 30. What was it? 30? Yeah, 20 movement, which is disgusting. He has a 3-2 homer nine this year. His best one at any stop is 1.7. Every other one is 2.9 or higher. It's truly obscene. But you look at him and he's like, he still has a 34% K rate and a 4% walk rate. So it's like, holy shit. There is talent here, but if somebody gets a hold of it, it's going 700 feet the other way. What an interesting player. What a time to bring him in, too. You're exactly right, Cage. This is wild. So leadoff hit. Hatfield up now. 0-2. Had to be a strikeout. You knew it. One away. It'll be Duro now. 1-2. That's ripped in the right field. That's going to split the gap. Be a base hit. Could this end the game? I can't track that runner. I don't know, and it will not. And it's not just this angle that does that. That happens when I do the home one, too. So I think there's like a way to maybe make it so. Oh, I don't know what I just did. I might have clicked something. I'll do dynamic action camera. We'll see what that does. All right, Waterbury, the hero once already with a chance to be the hero yet again. Double hero potential. Full count. He grounds it. They're going to come home with it. They got it. So they get the out at home. Waterbury gets the first. It's basically a fielder's choice. There's two away now. With Todd Robinson at the dish against Haddad. First pitch coming. Takes that one. Called strike 98. Top of the zone. That one's going to be grounded to second for the out. So Chicago threatens. But do not score. It'll be Glennon, Cashman, Jones. So after Glennon, it's two of our players. Again, Swiss Helm. 3-1 pitch. You have a better chance of standing out as a pitcher. Tell it to Henry Wilson. I was just saying we don't have a lot of pitchers in the league. You never know like how your player is going to develop. But you you can definitely commiserate, you know, if your player is, has been bitten by uh, by the injury bug and shit. All right, Cashman's up. 
First pitch. Ball outside. That one's ground ball to short. Flips the second back to one. Double play. And just like that, two away with Pete Jones coming up. JG just character 2 2. He's going to pop that one up into right for the third out. Oh, perfect. Perfect, B Law. So it'll be Alric Castro Imes as Chicago tries to walk this sucker off. Zedders player, Leon's Alric. Swings at that one, 97, 01. Strike two. That one painted in there, 96. 02 pitch coming. Curveball high and away. Didn't quite snap it off there at 72. Whew. One two pitch. Ball two. Fastball high. Coming in at 98. Two two pitch now. That one looked low. At 96. It'll be full. And that's going to be blasted in the right for a base hit. All Rick on first now. Their leadoff hitter. Only has 55 speed, but 80 stealing and 80 base running. So he knows what he's doing out there. He's 9 for 11, which qualifies as like a, a base stealing genius in this league. Even all the high volume st base stealers have been caught just as many times. They're terrible. Too many too many badass catchers in this league, and these the players refuse to adapt. They're like, fuck it, I'm still going to run. Diego Castro now. Oh, oh, swinging. Oh, he's bunting him over. Well, yeah, of course. This is actually one spot where I actually am okay with a the bunt. They're literally playing for one run. Because that wins the game. It, it It is not an offensive act. Especially from a guy who's not that great of a hitter. Now, if it, was, if it was a good hitter, I would then come back around to feeling pretty shitty about it. But mediocre hitter. Although he's their first baseman, too. He bats second. I know he's their number two hitter, and he has some, some pop. But he's a 104 WRC+. Plus. You actually... Looking at it now, based on the fact that Powers is carrying tool against this guy, I'm going to go back to it was stupid. But generally speaking, bunting to play for the one run in a walk-off situation is not awful. That is an instance where a bunt is okay. Imes takes strike one, a 72 mile an hour curveball dropped in there. First pitch, getting sneaky, and then he swings through that one. He was trying to end it. 102. That was power versus power. 02 pitch now coming from a dad. That pitch comes in high at 70. That curveball. 32 mile an hour split between those two pitches. 1 2 coming now. Takes fastball inside. What a stone cold take at 101 there by Imes. 2 2. He struck him out. Wow. That's Mark Imes' fourth strikeout, too. All right, Chick Robertson with an opportunity here. Ulrich on second. Super horny for buttons. <laughs> you get your chance, Caged. First pitch. Oh, they don't want that smoke. Oh. Oh, they don't want that smoke. Oh, they punked out. They do not want that Chick smoke, and who can blame them? <laughs> How mad are you right now? They want to face the 45 power who's an idiot. He's unthinking. <laughs> it's such a devastating burn. <laughs> oh man, OTP goes in sometimes. I'm a bitch. <laughs> BJ Hayes up now. 96 up and in. Swings, that's a sky-high fly ball to center. He fucking makes a no-look catch. Yo, Pete Jones just showing off out there. Dude, unthinking is devastating. It shows how how aggressive you can be without, you know, cursing or any sort of harsh language. Well, it is harsh language, but you can do it without perceived harsh language. 
Uh, if someone called me unthinking, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Your brain, it don't work. You are unthinking. Yeah, I'm gonna start throwing that one around. Don't think, just baseball. Sometimes that absolutely works. All right, McKinney's up, and then Erico and Layton. We don't need to pitch by pitch them. We are in the top of the 15th, by the way. This game's insane. That's true. He did call me unthinking when he suggested that I was at all like Rush fucking Limbaugh, dude. You want to talk about unthinking? People that listen to him. Erico, 0 2. Little, little Fliner there. Ulrich making the play at short, and it'll be Leighton now. 2-1. Chicago might get another chance to walk this baby off. And they will. I mean, every time they bat, they have the chance to do that, but you know what I mean, with just one run. It'll be Hatfield, Duro, Waterbury. How many at-bats have these guys gotten? My dad used to listen to him, too. And I wouldn't call my dad on thinking, but I would say, let me teach you how to fucking download podcasts on your phone so you can listen to better shit because my dad was out on the road all the time so he's just like listening to the radio and shit which i get but oh my god i'm unthinking when i say rises in the best center in baseball i would never say such a thing exactly cedo it's a sneak diss Haddad's coming back out. They are playing with so much fire here on this 20 movement. We need a walk-off home run here. Come on, Hatfield. 2-2. Two -two. We deserve it. And he strikes out. Duro, full count. Strikes out. And he's done. How did they blow that? How did they blow the opportunity to face Haddad for two and two-thirds? And not hit a homer. At what point did they run out of pitchers? Chicago's looking pretty good. Because here's the thing. They, they let their pitchers go pretty long. This would be a nightmare for our present day MLB. Because they would have used so many guys in the regular game. And so then the extras would kill them. But here, I mean, the, Chicago's only used four guys. And San, San Jose's about to use their fifth. So they've been pretty efficient. I mean, Vaccherini, Vaccherini, I don't know how to say that name, came in dropping five. That's huge. Even though he gave up three runs. So, I mean, maybe it's not that huge, considering he blew it twice. But in terms of pitcher usage we've seen three successful stolen bases in this game I mean we didn't see one of the Hatfield ones I guess but but they're they're three for three all right Waterbury I've mentioned it his last 20 at bats he has a chance to be the hero again he hit a home run all the way back in the ninth inning do you guys remember that that was this game he had a he had a Game tying ninth inning homer. Then San Jose got two in the twelfth, and then the Arson scored two in the twelfth themselves, and so we, we remain here. Yeah, he's on that Nadia Valdi type beat exactly. Yeah, he made some whack ass comments. Two one. Rich, Ricardo Morales coming in with his five-pitch mix. That's pretty nasty. Uh-oh, that might be... I was going to say, it's a race to the bag. But he gets him out. Cannot believe they wasted that opportunity against Haddad. Arseniega, Nieder, and then Sunho are coming up. Full count. Swiss Helm. See, Swiss Helm's putting in Yeoman's work, too. He's gone. He's gone a good while. He's pretty unthinking himself. He's just out there like baseball. I'll throw the ball. A throw ball. And sometimes that's all you need here in the top of the 16th. Two strikeouts and a flyout. He's he's through it. We go to the bottom of the 16th. It'll be Robinson, Ulrich, Castro. Me eight, me ball. That's going to get down for a base hit into right, excuse me. 
Ulrich now zetters with an opportunity. First pitch coming. It's going to be a strike. 91. So not the same kind of cheddar that a lot of these other guys have thrown. He's more of a kitchen sink junk baller with an extreme ground ball tilt. So we know he's trying to get that double play here big time. That one's going to be taken low for a ball. One and one. Follows that one off. One and two now. Comes the pitch. Swings through that one, strike three. So Ulrich with an opportunity comes up empty. It'll be Castro now. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to him. He's going to pop that one up in the left. Looks playable and is two away. It'll be Imes now. Imes is 0 for 6 with an RBI, the sack fly um, in the... 12th right didn't he do that in the 12th but also four punchies yo chick being one for six is pretty wild too the only if the arson lose this game Imes and robertson are getting obliterated in the media get yeah golden sombrero for Imes. robertson one for six hatfield oh for five hatfield not as good as the others but quite excellent himself so he's going to wear some of it, too, if they lose this game. If, if they win, all's forgiven. First pitch to Imes. Takes it for a strike. Look at 91. Swings through that one, strike two. Or, excuse me, follows that one off, but still strike two. 0-2 oh, pitch coming now. Strike three for the fifth strikeout of the game for Imes. Imes a bitch indeed. And they're going to Brian Ball, who is – okay, so this is this would happen in real life. This could definitely happen in real life. This would be – this is what we see all the time now. We love this shit where the starters come in on their throw day. It's 3 a.m. In the, in the world. Oh, yeah, it's 328 a.m. This is amazing. And Brian Ball is coming in. This is crazy. It'll be Glennon – Cashman and Jones, we've had this trio bat in this exact order before, probably like five times. This game's in the 17th inning, for crying out loud. I would have been so mad if I simmed this game instead of watching it. They get a leadoff walk, so Ball, one of the best pitchers in the league, arguably going to be the Steve Young this year. I mean, he should be. He led the league in ERA and whip. Like, I just, I don't know. You can't really fake that. .91 whip is stupid good. So he's coming in on his off day. You know, on his throw day here to get a little work in and try to help his team survive and get another at-bat with uh, with the game tied. But he has a leadoff walk, and it'll be Cashman now. Mo Cashman, Soda Cos player, led the league with 203 hits. He's a really, really good player. 142 WRC+. plus. This is a big spot for Ball versus Cashman. Here we go. Swings through the first one. 01 94 mile an hour fastball below the zone cashman looking to do damage there swings through another one same thing same spot damn near the same velocity does ball stick with that or does he soften up on him strikes him out with the change up wow he goes he goes textbook there same spot but dials it down pulls the string on him and totally totally embarrasses cashman It'll be Pete Jones now. This is JG just player. Takes fastball low, ball one. He's throwing over there to keep Glennon close. Glennon, a little bit of a threat in terms of his skill, but he doesn't run that much. Four for eight on the season. Swings through that one, or chops that one foul, rather. Dialed it up to 97 there for ball. He sits 94, 96. So that's in his range. 1-1. One, one, throws back over again. Oh, and he got caught. He got caught. Holy shit, he picked him off. Brian Ball has a 60 hold runners, and he picks him off. After the leadoff walk, he comes back with a strikeout pickoff, and now he's got 1-1 one, one to Pete Jones. Strike two. Goes that fastball, dials it up to 99. Brian Ball, the presumptive Steve Young award winner here. 1-2 pitch, 
Got him on strikes. What a performance. Brian Ball is hyped. Now, can his boys bring it home? It'll be Chick Robertson, one of the best players in the league, and of course on this team as well, with an opportunity. He's not had a great game. One for six. Some amazing plays in the field. So overall, a good game. Hasn't been great at the dish, let's just say. First pitch coming. He did get that intentional walk there when they were definitely too afraid of him. 1-0 to start. Ground ball to second. He's going to be one for seven. Chicka bitch. Agent Danger, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hayes is up now. Slowly but surely, to, um, Chicago's tried to catch up in hits, too, to where it's almost the same line score. If they get two more hits without scoring anything, then they'll have the same line score. But I know they want to end this game. Hatfield, who's 0 for 5. He must have some walks or something to... Yeah, two walks as well. But 0 for 5 on the day against Morales. Follows that one off. Oh, I meant to take it off pitch by pitch. Full count now. He's going to sky that one out to center and easily played for the third out. Five ground outs to second. Can, can't say he's not consistent, at least. True. Ball back out to face McKinney, Erico, and Layton. Don't forget, McKinney was a would-be hero for a moment when he ripped that two-out or that uh, that two-run double. That was back in the 12th inning. Uh, Though that was an eternity ago. Yeah, we're about to finish our second game here. It's 3.48 in the morning. Thanks for joining us here in the Sandlot Baseball League World Series. Game 7, San Jose trying to close out here. This is a nine-game series. So t Chicago can't even... They don't even get a win here. Like a normal Game 7. They got to get right back at it again tomorrow here in Chicago. Ground ball to third. That might be tough play, but no, he makes it. Nice job there by Imes. Our pets' heads are falling off. We're playing two games at once. It's four in the morning. Easy ground out to short. Taco stream. Taco Taco World Series game. Full count. Struck him out looking. Brian Ball just comes in here to dominate fools. Their ace coming in for two big innings. He erased that walk with a pickoff as well. So here we go again. The sixth potential chance for the... Yeah, it's Sox Dodgers. Absolutely. Somebody said that uh, one of the pitchers was on their Nate Eovaldi type beat earlier. This has shades of that game so much. It is about to be 4 a.m. This at-bat will take us clear of 4 a.m. 1-1 one, one, ripped into right. Base hit. A lot of opposite field hits. Just like smoked into right there. Base hits. So one more hit without scoring, and then we'll have equal line scores. Ted Waterbury, the ninth inning here. Remember that first game we played? Wait, what? Oh, balk! Morales balked. Oh, he's livid. But are they going to walk Waterbury then? Now they're going to pitch to him, and he's going to pay off by tapping out to the catcher. But the runner advanced, so you just think of it like any old ground out. Not that... He didn't want to move him to third, of course, but not the end of the world. Todd Robinson now. 3-0 pitch coming to him. He's swinging 3-0 for some fucking reason. And he's out on the ground out. Oh, God, he's going to get destroyed. I mean, it was a fat, you know. I, you know what? Fuck it. It's the 18th inning. It's 4.05 in the morning. No, turn him loose. Now, he didn't, he didn't come through. And it is Todd Robinson. I mean, you're trying to create a hero out of somebody who just doesn't quite have the skills to do that, but uh, I'm actually fine with it. I, I changed my mind on, on swinging 3-0 there. It's 4.05 in the morning. 2-1 pitch. That one's going to be diving catch in left. Erico. His playoff prowess knows no bounds, y'all. Brian Ball out here for his third inning. At some point, this might infringe on... His next start, which I think would be game nine. So that's where it becomes a little interesting now. He's at 27 pitches. But hey, if they don't win this, they don't have a game eight, let alone a game nine. So it doesn't matter. You got to go with ball here, I think, 
for as much as he can give you. One, two. If this fucking offense would have given him anything. This game is wild. Fly out to right. Arroyo coming in now. So that's it for Ball. It'll be Gus Arroyo, who's another one of their starters, I believe. Ground ball to third. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Gus Arroyo is not near the caliber of Ball, but he's another one of their starters. He's tomorrow's starter. So, who knows what's going to happen if Chicago does win this. Remember, so somebody was saying, you know, when do they run out of pitchers? And then I came in here and showed, oh, they're doing well. They're all fine with their pitchers. And now here we are where it's like, okay, now it's starting to pile up a little bit. I do wonder why they would go to the starter when they've got these relievers, though. That's a little peculiar, no? Like, why, why not throw this guy? I don't know. He'll probably start tomorrow. All right, here we go. This does have the feel of, a, of an insane quintuple overtime type hockey game. So, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Bring him out because he's better. He's more trusted. I mean, he hasn't been better necessarily, but like they gave him 183 innings. He's, he's viewed highly on this team. Plus, he's outspoken. He probably forced them to do it. All right. Sunhor. 3-1. Ground ball to second. One away. Yeah, Pyrrhic victory if you torch the rotation for sure. But you still got to get there. 2-2 two -two now. So, Chicago trying to end this again. They open with a strikeout. It'll be Mark Imes for his eighth at bat. He's 0 for 7. Excuse me, his ninth at bat. Ninth plate appearance, I should say. Eighth at bat. He has a sack fly. He's 0 for 7 with five punchies. Fan interference. That'd be the best way to end this game. He takes a strike low in the zone at 96 01. Follows that one off 02 now. Same spot at 93. Morales. Ricardo Morales, big time ground baller. Kitchen sink guy has five pitches. None of them particularly good. 0-2 to Imes. Ground ball to third. At least he made contact this time, but it's an easy ground out. He's 0 for 8. Oh my god, dude. It'll be Chick Robertson now. Not having that much better of a day. He's 1 for 7 with a walk. Great, great defense, though. Great defense. First pitch coming. Takes that one on the outside corner at 90 for a strike. 0-1. Fouls that one back. Make it 0-2 now. That was a slider at 87 in the same spot. 0-2 pitch coming. Ball. Cutter away. At 92. It'll be 1-2 now to Robertson. Up and in. 2-2. Battle back now. He's shown him four different pitches. Fastball, slider, cutter, change. Where does he go on 2-2? That's low. Fastball low at 95. Dialing up the velo a bit. Close call there, too. Wow. That was pretty close. We've seen worse pitches called a ball or called a strike. Full count now. Here we go. Robertson blasts that one into the gap. Oh, it's caught! Oh, I thought it was going gap. He got to it. Holy shit. He robs him of a home run. A game-saving play. Chick Robertson robbed of a home run by his counterpart, Sun Hoare. The spark plug to the 20th we go. Dude, they even gave that one the extra sound. That was a hit, man. That was a hit. Sometimes they give you that extra sound one, though, and it's, it's not. I get fooled by it, but that one was crushed. Game 8's tomorrow. Game 8's tomorrow in Chicago, and then the last game is in San Jose. This game is so insane. This is one of the most insane games I've ever played of this, and I've played thousands of OTP games. All right, it'll be Glennon to lead off here. Aaron Glennon's pretty good. 1-2 pitch. 
Ground ball to short. One away. Arroyo back out for the 20th, by the way. He was supposed to be today's starter. Yeah, this game, I don't know if it's a day or night game. Let's assume it's like a 7 a.m. game. Or a 7 p.m. game. 7 a.m. game. Yeah, let's assume it's a 7 p.m. game. It's 4.30 a.m. the day of that game. That's a great call, Attica. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Struck him out. Oh, no. Gus Arroyo's hurt. So already was he tomorrow's or was he today's starter? But now he's out hurt. That might actually be a high key of help in a weird way. Because now if he's out out, they could replace him. They could get a fresh arm. Now, who? how good is that guy going to be? Not really that good. But he'll be fresh. His abdominal soreness three days. Has minimal impact. I don't know. He doesn't pitch again in this, though. So, I don't know if he's, like, IL eligible, but if he were, I would definitely do that. If we were controlling this team, I would IL him to get the body, to get the other arm instead. Dude, Mo has had so many opportunities. I didn't even realize that he was down to 0 for 9. Between him and Robertson, they're having a really hard time at the dish. Jones has been fine. Two for eight is not the end of the world. Paco's four for four, but then came out. And then um, Ulrich's been amazing. He's been four for eight. Now, I, I stress at the dish, though, because Robertson has been awesome in the field. He's made some diving grabs. He's pulled his weight there. So his overall game has been better than this batting performance uh, uh, implies. And he hasn't struck out either. So like Cage said, he's been making a lot of contact. 57 left on base in this game. That's crazy. You're not getting bad on five ground outs to second. Don't pull that on us. You might be getting bad on some of the at-bats, but not the five ground outs to second. Armando Alvarez is going to have to come in. He's not that different than, um, what was it, Ricardo Suarez? It was Ricardo, I think, but I, I don't remember his last name. He's a ground baller, kitchen sink guy. So it's kind of the same guy. We'll see if he can hold. Gus, oh no, no, Gus Arroyo. I was confusing Gus. I was confusing him with um, with Morales, their pitcher. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So he does cut a Morales image, but that's not who he's replacing. He's replacing one of their starters. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, so two outs, top twenty. Pete Jones up against Alvarez. This is JG just character, and that's going to be. Whoa, that one curved big time. <laughs> Foul there at the end over Ames's, Ames's head for 0-1 now. And then he's going to crush that one. That one's going to be caught. Diving catch. Chick Robertson. This is why I mentioned his defense because it's insane. He makes like his third diving catch of the game. Of course, it's two games plus. This is insane. What a play by Robertson. He's contributing where he can, and that happens to be the field right now. It'll be Billy Hayes here. It's actually BJ Hayes, and I know it's Billy Mays, but just go with it. And then uh, Hatfield, who I think actually is Billy. Yes. And then Duro. Nic uh, na uh, Natividad. Rags. We'll call him Rags. Rags Duro. That's going to be a base hit. Okay, so now I've been waiting this for this for like 20 innings. We now have equal line scores. 5-15-0 for both teams. We're going to the bullpen here for San Jose. They're going to bring in Jack Dunnerdale. Dunnerdale! He is a pitcher. He only got four innings with the team this year. He's uh Okay. Another kitchen sink guy, though. Six uh, six pitches. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. It'll be Hatfield up.
Sorry about that. Sorry for the interruption. All right, we got two hits on Hayes Enduro. Waterbury. <laughs> okay, seriously, how many opportunities has Waterbury had to be a double hero? He has had so many chances here. We got to go pitch by pitch with him. One, two, one now. Swings through that or chop, chops that one. I keep getting those fouls wrong. Two, two. You open two curveballs, then two fastballs. What's he bring him here on two, two? Fastball, ball three. Where was that? Okay, that was really low. That's why the catcher had to drop. 100, uh, 100 miles an hour on that one for Dale. I didn't know Jack Dale had that kind of ched. He sits 94, 96. I kind of like that he could dial up in like a high, crazy situation like that. Full count. Waterbury. Ground ball. He just holds it. It just eats him up. McKinney can't make a play. That's an infield single. The bases are loaded with one out. And Todd Robinson with an opportunity here. Here we go. First pitch. Base hit. That'll do it. Bottom of the 20th. Todd Robinson, the catcher, walks it off. Chicago stays alive, baby. Yo, that looked very reminiscent of the Luis Gonzalez hit. Very reminiscent. What a game. What a game. It's 4.58 a.m. in the game world right now. What a game. Look at this. Look at this EKG. Hang on, we gotta full screen this so that we, this is not so ugly. It's still tough. It's still tough. I don't know how to make it. I wonder if there's a way we could um, like full screen it. It's just so cluttered. Because there were 20 innings. What an insane, what an insane, insane, insane game. Crazy special notes down here. Oh, a lot of records, because we're setting records left and right, of course, because um, our league is so fresh. And then with an extra innings game like this, everything's a record. So that makes sense. Holy crap, was that nuts. Tuesday, October 29th in Chicago, baby. It was 38 degrees with rain and the wind was blowing out 11. It was a fucking nightmare at the fireplace. And the game lasted eight hours. Dude, imagine if they had to travel. Yeah, that would be nuts. That will be the greatest game ever for now. I don't know that it's ever going to be topped. That game was insane. That was so fun.